how much should a man have in his account before you can decide to marry him? <laughs> Minimum what you supposed to get from your account before you go not saying sharp. How much? I don't know, but just have money. Like away. give me a figure. Five million. <laughs> five million naira. What about you? Five million. So before you go greet this man, you just get five million for account. Yes. How much do you have in your account? <laughs> mm, I think sixty. Millionaire. No. Oh, 60,000 error. Yeah, I guess. Oh, okay, no problem. All right, what about you? How much do you have in your account? I don't know. I don't have money, sir. You don't have money? <laughs> wow. Hi, guys. My name is Timmy Agbaje, and we're live for Richie Banks in the Benin today. Can I meet you, please? I'm Ricky. <laughs> How much must a man have in his account before you can consider dating him? If he's trying, I can date him now. Like, how much he's trying? Um, 20 million. <laughs> Sorry, if he's trying, 20 million. Uh, so if he's not, not trying, how much? 15 million. <laughs> Are you a millionaire? Yes. Do you, how much do you have in your account? Currently, 3 million. 3 million. And you want a man that has 20 million to date you? Uh -huh. Yes, nah. Make I give up on my money? No. What's the highest <laughs> gift you have bought for a man before? Um, I bought him one original shoe. How much? Three fifty. Three fifty thousand. Yes. Like, what's the thing that a man would do? We go make you break up with him. Uh, I not to get problem. Oh. Once he cheat on me, I go. If I cash out, I will break up with him. Once he cheat on you, you break up with him. But you don't cheat on your man before. I don't cheat. You don't cheat. I don't cheat. You don't cheat. I don't cheat. You never cheat for your life. <laughs> no. <laughs> swear with your life that you have never cheated on your man on any man you are dating before. I swear. <laughs> with your life. Ah, uh -uh, you want to kill me? <laughs> Thank you very much. Nice to meet you. Bye. Do you see? Huh? That's the problem. This is this is a typical example of uh, you are. You are you are demanding what you don't have. You see them. You see them. No disrespect for these fine girls. They are beautiful. Good dreams. It's, it's not a terrible thing to desire the kind of man. It is not a bad thing to have a picture of the kind of man you want. It's not a bad thing to create a meta picture or visualize what your man should look like, his capacity, his ability, his financial status, his educational background, his physique, his body build, his mental and emotional state, not a problem. But are you the dream woman of your dream man? That's the question. That's the one million dollar question. If that man that has five million in his account, if he comes, will you count you worthy? Do you have the capacity to handle the kind of man you are wanting in your life? This man that you want to come, will he see you and treat for you? Will he be proud of you? Can he, can, he, can he associate with you? Do you deserve the man that you are wishing? That's the question. Because it's not a terrible thing. Anybody can aspire for anything. You can decide to say you want a man to, be, a man to have one billion. It is not about whether you have the same money. No. It is the fact that you have the capacity to be able to manage a man that has one billion. When a man begins to have one billion, when a man has one billion in his account, that's already a billion. Okay, maybe a billion, I know a dollar, but a billion in error. His kind of friends, his association, his dreams, his vision, his businesses, his trips would require a kind of woman that will not just be a slave queen. Because what of some of you are thinking is the fact that you think what you think you want is Asena and uh, Manchester. That's what you think, Asena Manchester, Asena Manchester. That's your idea of what every man wants. But then that can only work in some level, average guys. When I begin to demand for millionaires and billionaires to come, those ones will look, they are looking for capacity women that will be able to handle certain level of pressure, certain level of understanding, certain level of conversation. Accept, receive, and coordinate certain level of guests and visitors. <laughs> never, I never see anything. Those are the facts that, that we are not talking about. Do you, 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 you wear the CISO? Can you handle the man that you are wishing? It's not enough to look at the man and say, oh, 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 oh. If the man see you go do, oh, oh, will he be proud of you? Will he? If you send the man now, if you, both of you, some of you, and this is this has been like something that we should discuss, but just a shy way from. Some of you cannot even hold conversation. You want him? 
That's why you should stay with your current boyfriends and your current class. You are thinking B, but you don't have the you don't have the build of the thinking that you are thinking. Are you the dream woman of your dream man? This is the same thing for guys, so, so I'm not just being uh, gender biased. There are a lot of guys that, that are pushing away their current girlfriends and they say, come off my phone, come off my phone, come off my phone. You are thinking, you are the girl, you are the Instagram buddy you are seeing on social media, that's what you want. You want that you are seeing, that the Arsenal is here, the Manchester is here, back and forth. You don't want, uh, you want better equation where it be say, the denominator will not be higher than the numerator. You want, you want that, ah, balance. But are you balanced? Can you handle such guests? Do you have the capacity in all ramifications? Because a lot of times, some of these guests come with their own crisis. So they require somebody that is stable mentally. It's not just about the final. What some guys have, holistically, in totality, is just money. It's just money in their bank account. So they have ATM cards that they can spend money. But when it comes... There are so many guys that lost girls, not because they did not have the money to take care of the girl, but because they did not have the sense to help the girl manage her life. Why? That's why you see most guys, they will leave rich boys, they will date rich boys and have all the expensive hair and live well, but when they want to choose marriage, they will look for the guy that can talk to them, that can help them build, that can help them plan. Because sometimes, you know, YouTube has been to make you demand certain things at a certain age. After a while, when you grow past that age, you begin to re realize that no, no, that's not what all life wants. This is not all life wants. I, 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 I was told of a girl that had that dated a millionaire who was making self like like all these blocks to call it self-employed millionaires, and so much money came in from there. At every birthday, she collects as much as two million and made so much money. When it was time for her, the guy even proposed marriage. She said no, she can't. This is not the kind of man I want to marry. I'm looking for a man that is emotionally and mentally stable. Be able to help me lead my life. I don't want my children to be born into this kind of home. Where me and Slay Queen and Sibu Mari Slay King. No! The girls are looking for a husband material. You know some of you now, they say, hey, not be wife, not be husband material. Even if you have, you be husband. So many husband, so many materials, they spoil for the hand of a wrong tailor. Eh, I told you that. Once again, desire all you want. Aspire all you want. Be ambitious as you like. But do you have the capacity to handle the kind of partner that you are wishing to come into your life? That's the millionaire question. I'll catch you another time.